Hi, this is Mike at Design Point. I wanted to take a minute here and just show a quick demonstration of how to create a 2D image showing a line that reflects the path that a part might move. And the way that you would want to do that is to actually work in the animation mode even though the animation isn't our end result. And so what we've got here is uh, a carburetor assembly um, and I'm going to move this carburetor cap and show the path that it moves along and we'll take a 2D image of that. So the way we're going to start out here is I'm in animation mode, I've got my timeline set out here a certain distance, doesn't really matter how far. Uh, we're going to come up here to our author tab and uh, we're going to, actually I'm, I'm sorry, we're going to come up here to our transform tab and we're going to use the free drag tool and normally when we're moving things in animation you're probably used to using your translate tool or maybe your explode tools most likely your translate tool when we use our free drag tool and we go ahead and we drag this along sort of a curved path here you can see that it's actually recording in a red line there the path that that moved along and it automatically creates a dotted line it looks like that's just going to give us a dotted line along the the straight path not the path that it followed but you can see as I back up and actually move my animation, it converts that onto that red line. And so now if I deselect the component, I can change some options with the path itself. So we'll select on the path uh, in my properties here. We'll go ahead and uncheck stay on top so that it looks more of a natural the way that I want it. I could even then go ahead and uh, grab an end of this and sort of adjust it. Maybe I want it to look more like that. I could use some of the tools in my polyline uh, itself to put an arrow at the end of that and maybe we'll blow up that arrow a little bit. Something like that. Um, so we can get fancier with this if we want to move this back behind here. Um, but that just kind of gives you an idea of how we might accomplish this. Now here I'm in the animation, and you can see this could be a kind of a cool thing to show in an animation itself. But in this case, we just want to take a 2D image of this. So let's turn on our, our paper, and we'll kind of reposition this a little bit. And we'll open up our high-resolution image workshop. And we'll maybe bump up our resolution here a little bit and save this and I'll just grab that image and pull it over on our screen here and there we have our 2D image so that might be something that you're looking to show wouldn't necessarily be the natural thing to go into animation to do that but that's the way that we can accomplish it hopefully that's useful for you and helpful thanks very much have a good one